Well, I'll keep it brief. There's not really much to say. I thought we got out. Um, we lost the home game and one that we should have won and, and should have played a little, a little better and a little more energized. Um, I didn't think we gave it our. I didn't think that was one of our better games of the season, uh, to say the least. Um, free throw shooting, three point shooting, the uh, the Achilles heel for us when we've lost games um, has been that. And then I thought their guards did a great job of controlling the game. I mean, they they didn't get pressed too much. They scored I think sixty something points between four of them, and um, we got beat. We got beat tonight. So that's pretty much it there. I would have probably sat in the locker room for a little while longer, but I'll get everybody out of here. Derek, you, uh, you guys took a lot of three-pointers in, in the game. Did it feel like you were settling for them, or were those, were those shots you wanted that just didn't move? I thought it was both. Um, they were wide open, quite a few of them, I would say that. Um, but when we, uh, when we drove the ball to the rim, uh, I thought better things happened. We got to the uh, bonus a little bit earlier. Um, the problem is we didn't make free throws, so you, got, you compile missing one-footers, missing threes, and missing free throws. Um, with not coming up with enough 50-50 balls. That's a, that's a recipe that we've had when we've lost games this year. It's kind of been the same kind of uh, recipe. Sam, so for, for you guys, when, how, how demoralizing is it when, when you guys are trying to make a comeback and, and free throws aren't falling? Uh, it's tough. Um, when you're down like that, you know you need every bucket and, and every play and every shot counts. So it's hard. Derek, you, you guys have made comeback runs on a lot of teams this year. Not every one of them is is counterpunched the way that the George Mason tonight did. did. we expect the end? Did it surprise you all the way that they kind of? No, I, I got respect for them. They've um, they've played a lot of teams tough. I, I know the record doesn't indicate that, but man, I tell you what, every time it seemed like we pressed and got them to take a quick shot, it, it was in. I mean, they made seven for 13 threes. They only had 11 turnovers, and we were kind of the team spread out and running around. Um, they they counterpunched a lot of the things we did tonight. They really did. I thought they played a great game and. You know, they go seven for 13 from three, we're seven for 25. They go 22 for 29 from the free throw line, we give up 11 there, so that just wasn't a good combination. You add up all those points and some different stuff, and all of a sudden, you know, two free throw blockouts that we give up. Um, just things that are uncharacteristic for our team. Derek, is a challenge now to try to, to try to get your guys to feel a sense of urgency without getting without making them a sense of urgency. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. That's a good way to put it. Um, you know, I've tried to keep day to day, but I think everybody's looking to the Barclays Center or things along those lines. And um, you know, you have to uh, play with a sense of urgency without panic, like you mentioned. It's like play hard, but not you know like rushed. Like if you have an open three, make it. Don't be like feel like it's the last shot of the year. Um, and when we've done that, has been really when we've. Um, well, we've come up with most most of the loose balls because then it's a little less imperative of every possession, every play. Were you trying to send a message when you put the freshman at the end of the at the end of the first half? I was looking for anybody to come with some energy or at least play the way uh, we needed to play with desperation or um, like you mentioned earlier. So yeah, I was kind of trying to send a message. And also, you know, those guys have been pretty good in practice. The problem is, is <laughs> you know, we press and they go in and the guy hits two threes, and uh, you know, it didn't really work out the way I liked. Derek, did you see this coming at all? Did you smell something like that? I mean, I, I, the only thing I was a little leery of is that we played on Sunday in what I thought was a physical kind of tough game. And then, um, you know, we had Sunday, uh, Monday and Tuesday to get ready for today. I think they played Saturday. Um, so the extra day off, I thought, you know, we kind of ran into one of those deals. So um, in retrospect, I might have done a little less practice-wise over the last two days. But going hard and kind of beating each other up for had worked uh, to get us back on track and, um, you know, so I would, that was probably the only thing I would look at differently. The, the big guy Copes was pretty much a non-factor in the first game. The night he had 12 and 15. Um, could you assess his, his performance against Gaddy? Yeah, I thought he outplayed him. I mean, it's, it was pretty evident with, um, you know, how he got post position and, and scoring and uh, how he was rebounding the ball. Um, he played with a, a, a really good sense of urgency and I, I thought he, um, he was a uh, rock inside. I thought we beat. It. I thought we got beat at that position, and we got beat at some of the guard spots. Um, if you were saying mano a mano or whatever you might want to call it. Trey, sure. is a thing to clean up before uh, GW next week. Yeah, well, it's on Saturday, so the cleanup's going to be kind of quick. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've said it all along. When we come with high intensity and high energy, it seems like the ball goes in more. We make free throws. We play a little better, um, and when we're not forcing turnovers and playing with that kind of intensity. Uh, we're, we're another team. We're like everybody else. So that's kind of the key to us being good and, and playing as a unit. And, I mean, I need 
you know, I think, um, you know, we got to get some more points and, and stuff out of, you know, DG, Jazz, and Caddy, kind of your one, two, five, your starters to kind of give us a little bit more of a boost. Trey, were you at the end of the game with Jazz out? Were you trying to kind of replicate some of the things that he's done in some of the, in some of the comebacks? It looked like you made, the, made a lot of things happen driving the basket and, and scoring. You know, I was just trying to play. Uh, I was just hurt, so I was just playing. Yeah. Was, was he hurt or just not playing well yet? Um, I, a combination yeah. of both. I, know, I didn't think he played his best game, but he's got um, yeah, he's got a few nagging injuries. We're gonna get kind of looked at just to make sure he's uh, healthy for this this final stretch run. But um, I don't really know. I'll have to talk to Dave on that one. But he was grabbing his hip around with us. All right. Thank you, guys.